Welcome back to The Lead. I'm Jake Tapper. Turning to our world lead now, President Trump welcoming Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe at the White House today. The two leaders are on their way to Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort for a series of meetings and some golf diplomacy this weekend. Accompanying the president to Florida will be First Lady Melania Trump, who is flying on Air Force One for the first time. CNN senior White House correspondent Jim Acosta joins me now live from the White House. Jim, Japan obviously a critical U.S. ally. What was the primary focus of the president and the prime minister's conversation today? Uh, yeah, Jake, uh, the president and the prime minister talked trade and security today with North Korea and China being a big part of the conversation. Following their news conference, the two leaders issued a statement saying both the U.S. and Japan are committed to protecting Japanese control of some contested islands in the East China Sea and remain opposed to China's militarization of man-made islands in the South China Sea. Uh, as for North Korea, there was also a determination expressed by the president and the prime minister to confront the threat posed uh, by North Korea's nuclear program. Uh, here's what uh, was said during the press conference earlier today. We will work together to promote our shared interests, of which we have many, in the region, including freedom from navigation and of navigation, and defending against the North Korean missile and nuclear threat. On the economy, we will seek a trading relationship that is free, fair, and reciprocal benefiting both of our countries.